Congratulations! If you're seeing this video, you probably asked an animator what they animate with or what you should animate with, and now you're here! And you're gonna get your answer! This is Scribble Kibble, a show where most of the time we tear apart animations to see how they work, but sometimes we do something else, like today. So, what do you need to animate with? Let's start at the bottom with nothing, with no money, just want to animate and not spend any money. Okay, you will need paper and something to draw with, and that's it. You can make a flipbook animation. Hey, you can even record it on your phone and post it online. If you're watching this video, you probably have these tools. So stop moping around saying you can't make animations because you're gonna work flash. Money is not going to make you a better artist. Now let's go a step up with the following items. Still free, this is still free territory. You'll need a computer, a free drawing program, a free video making program, and Audacity if you're doing your own voices or music. So what you're going to do now is, in your free drawing program, one by one, draw all of the pictures you need to make up your animation. Make sure the size of your drawing document is the same every time. When you're done drawing, save every picture individually, put them in your video editing software, put them on screen in proper order, and then make them last on screen for as short as possible. And publish your video. Boom. If you have a scanner, a camera, or a cell phone, you can also scan or take pictures of handmade drawings and put them together in Windows Movie Maker the same way. This also works for making claymation and stop motion animations. And one more set of free options. Go to Google and type in free 2D animation software or free 3D animation software. Find stuff, download it, try it. Just be careful not to download viruses. Also, be prepared to scream, cry, or rage, depending on how you deal with anger, because figuring out how to use an animation program for the first time is frustrating, to say the least. Okay, now you've done some animations and you like it. You want to put in some money, but not a whole lot. If you're drawing by hand, the very first thing you need to buy is a USB pen drawing tablet. This will let you draw by hand on the pad and it will show up on the screen and it's great. My first tablet was a Wacom Bamboo Fun tablet for $100. I used it for eight years. So everything on my YouTube channel with a published date earlier than this video is drawn with that little itty bitty tablet. They don't make that model anymore, but there are plenty of new models to choose from that are probably better, so shop around. If you're doing voice acting, buy a good microphone. The Blue Yeti or the Blue Snowball are popular. I had a Blue Yeti, and now I'm using an Apex 435, which I like better. It's mounted on a stand with a pop filter, so some things you can buy additionally. Now, whew, let's talk about software. In my opinion, there's no mid-range price on this. You're either going to buy real animation software, or you're going to keep using the free stuff. So bear in mind that I'm a 2D animator, and I'm going to talk about what to get for making that kind of animation. If you want to know what to buy to make 3D animations with, I don't know. You've got some research to do. <laughs> As a 2D animator, your two main options are Flash or Toon Boom. Now there are other options, but those are the big ones that everybody uses, one or the other. And I'll be frank, most professionals I know use Toon Boom. It's better for frame-by-frame -frame animators. And it can do puppets too and pretty much everything else, blah blah blah. But it's harder to find tutorials on how to use anything but the most recent version of Toon Boom. So if you're gonna need help, just FYI, tutorials are harder to find. The most recent version of Toon Boom is Toon Boom Harmony, and right now the basic version is either $15 a month or $375 for a permanent license. And you can compare that to Flash Creative Cloud at $20 a month and no option for a permanent license, yeah. So if you choose Flash and you're not a professional money-making person or a college student discount person, I really recommend shopping for older versions that you get to keep and use forever. Flash CS6 or earlier. You're not gonna be able to buy these from Adobe anymore, so have fun finding them. And because they're discontinued older products, if there's any bugs, they're not going to be fixing those, so yeah, you're going to have to live with them. Like, I can vouch for some of the stupid bugs in Flash CS4, personally. Now, I pay for Flash instead of Toon Boom because I use way, way more than just Flash for my animations. So I'm paying the full $50 a month to Adobe for access to every single one of their Creative Cloud applications. And I use eight of them. 
six of them for animating. So the monthly price is worth it for me. In terms of prices, let's go down to the last level of I have a whole bunch of money I want to spend on the best animation equipment, what do I do? If you're a solo animator, you're going to want specialized programs for different kinds of art. For example, if you're making painted style backgrounds, you don't want to draw those in Flash. You want to draw those in Photoshop or Paint Tool SAI. And you want to add special effects and filters in a program like After Effects. And you want to cut your animated film, titles, music, and sound effects together in Premiere Pro, Vegas, or Final Cut. And maybe some of the options. Here's my personal program array for animations. This is very different depending on what animator you're talking to, but this is mine. And of course for animators there's all kinds of physical equipment you can buy, but the most important thing here is building a good computer. So I say put at least $1,000 into a desktop computer that can handle video processing, and then another $200 for a monitor for that computer. And then, if you have extra money left over, purchase a pen display tablet, and that will allow you to draw directly on your screen. FYI, if you use all of the programs that I do on a weak computer, it will crash or be very slow all the time. So investing in a computer is a must. A powerful desktop is a lot cheaper than its laptop power equivalent. You probably have a friend who can help you put a desktop together. Buy them several pizzas, or several large salads, or several slabs of tofu, whatever. So there you go, there's my top tips on how to spend your money to be an animator. Because you need to spend money to be an animator? No, not really. If you want me to keep telling you secrets about everything I know about animation, please leave a tip. You can do this through Patreon or PayPal, it's in the description. Thank you, thank you, thank you! No, really, thank you! <laughs> Alright, see you next week for the next episode of Scribble Cribble.